Hey guys, Abby here, and I have a small update. Um, I've been working on Christmas gifts, so that is why you're seeing more and more updates. But, um, yeah, some of you guys may have seen these on Instagram. Some of them. I don't think I posted them all. But, yeah, so first, to start off with, I am going to show you the two resin pieces I made, resin charms. I don't know. This is another of the bottle cap charms that I decorated a couple weeks ago. But this is Marie, and it's just a sticker, rhinestones and sticker. Again, it's layered, but I don't think you can really tell. I'm probably going to dome this one over, and then I made this one, but the rhinestones moved right here, so it's a fail. But I like the design and the colors, so I'll try to remake it, maybe. But I think it's really cute. And then I did some glitter clothespins, but they are a little bit different from my tutorial. Um, let's see. This is a Alice in Wonderland kind of tea party theme. Alice drinking something. Auto cup, eat me cookie, and then the March hare, and teapot, and Cheshire cat. I know the Cheshire cat wasn't necessarily at the tea party, but they didn't really have any other ones that matched. They didn't have the Mad Hatter. So, that. As you can see, they are really glossy and glazed. They're really nice and smooth. And then, I have another Alice set. This is more kind of the Queen of Hearts theme, and bucket watch, mushroom, um, card dude, <laughs> and then the white rabbit, and then another card dude. And, I mean, I say Queen of Hearts theme, but they all came from the same sticker sheet. Kind of an Alice-themed one. And, again, these are glazed. And then I have a Disney Sweets theme. And Mickey, Minnie, Cake, Cake, Cupcake, and you can see they have little hidden Mickeys in them. And, again, these are glazed, so they're nice and smooth. And I have another Disney Sweets theme. Mm, Donald, Daisy, uh, cake, cookie, cookie, biscuit, I don't know. And I should have put Daisy on a different color because her bow kind of just blends in. But again, hidden Mickeys on the sweets, and these came from the sticker sheet as well, but I kind of separated them into five and five groups. And then finally, um, I think I like these the best. And I made them the first, actually. Made them first, the first. And you may have seen these on Instagram because I think I posted them. But they are the longer, thinner clothespins, wooden clothespins, with kind of mm, pastel y, cute stickers. Um, these are all from the same sticker sheet as well, but I like how these turned out. These have like three coats of glaze on them, so they are really nice. And yeah, I don't know if you can see up close. And that is my update. Not much, but these took a day or so to make because all the different coats of different stuff I put on them. But, yeah, like I said, um, I've been using Instagram more and more to post pictures and stuff. And if you want to get updates before I post these kind of updates, um, follow me at Studio Lorian, at, at Studio Lorian. And I have been using the hashtag Atelier Lorian to post my crafts. And I would love it if you guys would use that hashtag too to post your crafts. And I will check them out. I will give you the little hearts, the likes. <laughs> and I will comment um, on random pictures that I like and stuff. And I am also going to give you guys um, a chance to be featured in my videos just by posting your crafts with the hashtag Atelier Lorian. I'm going to give you a theme each week because I'm going to try to post weekly videos on Atelier Lorian now that aren't just updates, you know, like proper tutorials and stuff. So, I think that's going to be every Tuesday. I may get started after Christmas, but I've been planning out a lot of stuff. So, hopefully that will be exciting to you guys. So, the first theme is going to be sweets. And I know that's a big theme, but we'll be, we, I, will be coming up with other themes. So, first of all, you can use Atelier Lorian, the hashtag Atelier Lorian, to post any of your crafts, and I will check them out. But if you want to be featured in my next, you know, big tutorial video or something, um, post a picture with something sweets themed with hashtag Atelier and that will make you eligible to be featured. If I get lots of entries, I may not be able to post them all, but I will do my best and yeah, I'll feature them in my video somewhere and that will be fun because you guys are awesome crafters. And yeah, I also had a question on Instagram, how did I make these? I have a glitter clothespin tutorial. And that's pretty basic, so you can check that out. It's just glue and glitter. And then, with the stickers now, and the glaze, it's a few more steps, but it's very simple. And it's basically, you know, the glitter to clothespin tutorial. 
a sticker and then some Mod Podge to seal the sticker in well and then glaze on top. So that is it. But, um, if that is still confusing to you, I can make an updated tutorial after Christmas. So let me know down below if you would like to actually see a video on it and not just hear it from my mouth. <laughs> and yeah, so don't forget to use hashtag AtelierLorian for Instagram. If you don't have Instagram, you can post it on Twitter with the same hashtag. Um, I know Facebook has hashtags now, but I'm not quite sure how they work, so Instagram or Twitter would be great. And both are free to get accounts, so I am at StudioLorian on both social networks, so check me out and post your pictures. I can't wait to see them. I will see you next time. Bye!